Hi, I'm Jeff from Solar Choice, and today we're doing a review of DMEGC Solar, or DMEG as we call them. We're going to take you through some of the key features of these solar panels, basically everything you need to know to make a decision on whether these are the ones for your house. First, Solar Choice is an independent advisor on solar panels, so we're not paid to do these reviews and we can really say what we want. Let's start by giving you a bit of a background on DMEG Solar. So DMEG is owned by Heng Dian Group, who are a very large Chinese company. They are one of the world's largest manufacturers of soft magnetic materials. And in 2006, they were listed on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. In terms of DMEG Solar, they've got five manufacturing facilities in China and one in Indonesia. Their reported revenue for the, for the parent group was 12 million euros. So they've got very strong financial backing. That has led to them being listed as a tier one Bloomberg manufacturer, which is a coveted award reserved for those with very strong financial stability. In terms of their presence in Australia, they're really just getting started. Last year, they had 28 solar panels approved by the Clean Energy Council under the, the main rebate in Australia, the STC rebate, and they're slowly trying to win market share in, in our market. Let's talk a little bit about the solar panels we have here. The two 440 watt panels, which is perfect for Australian residential systems. The one on the right is a monofacial solar panel, and the one on that's closest to me is a bifacial solar panel. So let's talk about some of the differences between those two panels and it really comes down to the construction. So the monofacial solar panel has a thicker 3.2 millimeter glass front sheet and on the back it just has a plastic polymer. You can see that the black plastic back sheet is opaque and black which makes the appearance of the panel quite pleasing in terms of its all black appearance. It has the black frames, the black cells, and presents a pretty good solution for a roof space that is visible. Same goes for the bifacial solar panel. The main difference here is in the construction of the, the, the cell design. So on the front, we've got a 1.6 millimeter front sheet, and that is coupled with a 1.6 millimeter glass back sheet. And the silicon cells are sandwiched in the middle. And that means that light can be absorbed through the front of the panel and also through the underside of the panel. You can see that the cells themselves are made from a transparent material. So in theory, sunlight can pass through the solar panel, reflect off the roof and hit the underside of the panel. If you want to learn a little bit more about bifacial solar panels and is this technology really worth it, then you can check out our other YouTube review where we dive into that in more depth. Long story short, for most cases where you're going to be flush mounting your solar panels to the roof line, there's very minimal difference in terms of the production of the solar panel. So both of these panels have a maximum efficiency rating of 22%, which I'd classify as good. Um, it's up there with some of the, the leading cost-effective uh, solar panel brands. The other thing to call out is the temperature coefficient of these solar panels. So at 0.29% per degree Celsius, these panels will um, drop off slower in terms of their performance as temperature rises beyond the normal operating temperature. So if you're in a climate um, such as Northern Australia where you're getting temperatures of 40 or 50 degrees, then these panels will lose less performance than some of their counterparts in the market. So temperature coefficient is a, a key factor in those really hot climates or conversely in the really cold climates. So let's talk about DMEG Solar's warranty offer. They have a 25 year product warranty and a 30 year performance warranty. The product warranty is the main one that we look at. It's the one that residential customers claim the most because it covers manufacturing defects and basically if the panel doesn't do what it says it's supposed to do. So 25 years is obviously a very long product warranty, uh, but it's now widely considered to be the expectation of solar panels in Australia. So residential solar panels used to have 10, 15 year product warranties, but in the last two or three years, almost all major brands have lifted that to 25 years. The performance warranty is 
30 years for DMEG and that's a little bit ahead of the market expectation which is still at 25 years. So the performance warranty covers the rate at which this solar panel will degrade, the silicon in it will slowly lose its efficiency and um, the guarantee that DMEG are making is that after 30 years this solar panel will still produce 87.4% of its day one value um, at that time. So again, not one that we see customers claim a lot, but it's good to see that these panels um, will degrade slowly. So let's talk about some of the pros and cons of, of these solar panels. So the main pros are the financial stability, as we talked about with that uh, tier one Bloomberg rating. Additionally, there is a low price point of around 17 cents per watt Australian. So that means one of these panels will cost you roughly around $75 at the time of recording this video. That's definitely at the lower end of the spectrum in terms of solar panel costs. So it presents a good option for customers on a budget. And DMEG are trying to win some market share so they need to price themselves effectively. And finally, we just call out again that temperature coefficient. Um, it, is, it is a key benefit of these solar panels. On the con side, the main one that we want to talk about is the fact that DMEG Solar don't have a local presence in Australia. So they haven't set up a local office, they haven't got a local Australian website, and there's no clear way for an Australian customer to claim warranty directly through DMEG. They're relying on their installer or the wholesaler. So what we've seen over time is that companies that don't have a local presence or direct staff to support customers is that um, if the installer goes bust, which is you know not unlikely in a with a 25 year lifetime, then some customers are left in the lurch trying to contact an overseas manufacturing headquarters to claim warranty with no clear process on how to do that. Um, so generally we recommend to stick to solar panel manufacturers that have a strong local presence. Now DMEC have told us that they're in the process of establishing an office in Brisbane and setting up some local staff to support the Australian market. So check out Solar Choices Review, we'll keep that up to date once we receive evidence that that's the case. The other thing to call out as a, a potential con with these solar panels comes with this bifacial solar panel. So with its lightweight 1.6 millimeter front sheet, uh, one downside of that is that it is, um, there is some evidence to suggest it's more susceptible to hail damage. So PV Evolution Labs did some independent testing and they found that with the, the hail testing they did, only 11% of monofacial panels with 3.2 millimeters glass on the front sheet um, failed that test whereas 60% of panels with two millimeters on the front and back um, failed the test. And this solar panel has even less thickness than, than what they tested in, in their rounds. So that's something just to call out. If you are in a hail prone area, um, then it may be worth considering a, a different option or a monofacial solar panel. That's what we've got time for today with the DMEC solar review. If you wanna look at this review in more detail, check out our website and we've also completed reviews of all different solar panels, inverters, batteries, EV chargers and heat pump hot water systems. As always, you can come to Solar Choice to compare quotes for free online from installers that we've pre-vetted and we trust. Thanks for watching, join us on the next one.